got COVID in the middle of January 21. I had the most dreadful cough, uh, sweating, sore throat. Uh, I couldn't believe how bad it was. My skin was a dreadful colour. My hair was, you know, very weak and falling out when I did get into the shower. Um, my husband had to look after me, um, help me sit up in the bed, help me go down to the toilet. Um, I wasn't eating. I was drinking, but I wasn't really eating. I wasn't that um, hungry. The cough has stayed with me. Um, it's not ha not as bad at all but um it's still there um i have um i get hoarse in the mornings every morning i get up a lot of mucus uh, white mucus i get a lot of infections very easily now i've i think i've been on um four four at least four antibiotics since Christmas uh, for chest infections and um, I also it damaged the muscle tone in my voice and um, so I had to go to a speech therapist I lost my voice for about three months I was kind of only a, a whisper or a very very low horse kind of voice and um, so that eventually came back after all the exercises that the specialist gave me I'm just walking in a, in a field, um, there's going to be a little hill now, just uh, coming up to it now. I slow down a bit, always. So that's usually the way I am when I'm out walking. I still get um, a lot of tiredness aches and pains, my legs, aches and pains. Um, uh, forgetfulness is dreadful. Brain fog in the middle of a sentence, I'll, I'll forget what I'm saying. Um, and, oh, sorry, I was sent to a COVID clinic in Dunleary, uh, St. Michael's Hospital. And I did eight weeks there, two days a week. And it was just excellent. They did exercises with us and the staff were just really nice and helpful. Um, I tried to keep up the exercises when I was when the eight weeks was over. Um, but I would have loved and so would the other uh, five people that was in my class with me would have loved for to be able to have done it even once a week or even once a month, I suppose, anything. But you're kind of left to your own devices and then we're brought back every six months for uh, checkups. What I find the best of it was that other people there, men and women, all ages, were all, they, we all just completely understood each other. Um, you weren't afraid to say different things because they would come back with other stuff that they would be suffering from and some would be the same, some wouldn't. But it was just so helpful because nowadays if people say how are you um you'll kind of just say okay because you don't want them to think that you're moaning or you know dragging this COVID thing on that they think is you know shouldn't last so there's many that would love a clinic that you could check in with or um just maybe text or email for some advice on different things um, or groups to meet up um, with the clinic that you could have a chat and see where we're all at or something like that because there's not enough I uh, feel it's like COVID is kind of uh, it's gone and we're just left to deal with the aftermath of it all.